What's up, you too? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Spark Nero, and today we are back with another video. We all know about the um, the YouTube channel of people that get decayed item and then they turn it into a new item. So somebody made a video that those kind of videos are fake. So let's say I say that's why I say let me react with you guys. And see what he's talking about. Let us judge him based on his actions and based on the thing he said. Let's see if it's fake or real. Let's go. Thanks to Sunny V2, we all know the unfortunate truth of most primitive building videos being complete bogus. But what if I told you the problem of staged content goes much, much deeper, and that the majority of restoration videos are faked? Wow. Hi. I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be investing in the cruel and deceitful world of fake restoration videos. Wow. And before we go any further, here's just a quick disclaimer that this video does get very disturbing. And if you're sensitive to topics relating to animals, I suggest you proceed with caution. Restoration videos have been a viral staple on YouTube for over three years. With the niche having several subcategories, the most common variant involves a creator discovering a rusty, aged, or seemingly naturally damaged item, and then documenting the steps of restoring it back into its intended form. The content grabs viewers' attention by showing a thumbnail featuring an extremely corroded and damaged item, begging the question of what it would look like if it were to be brand new. But this is exactly where the fault lies. And whilst from a first glance this content is generally seen as harmless, it's often not realised by the viewer that in many cases, the creator is deliberately damaging or even just painting over the item mm. to steal your attention. Wow. There are two primary categories of fake item restoration videos, strong fakes and mild fakes. The strong variant is when the item either has cosmetic rust painted on or is covered in dirt or mud in order to give the appearance of decay, eroding, or like it's been left outside or submerged in water for years. There's a huge amount of these videos on YouTube, not only about weapons, but also on tech and shoes. It's almost like some of these tech videos aren't even trying to hide the fact that it's staged, going as far as submerging and washing the technology in water. <laughs> mm -hmm. The second variant of fake item restoration videos are called mild fakes. The mild fake variant is harder to tell from the strong fakes, as the damage is usually real. So if the damage is real, then you're probably wondering why these videos are fake to begin with. But that can be simply explained by the fact that the creator is destroying the items off camera by exposing them to chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide that massively speed up the process of rust growth. And whilst this particular variant is often respected more due to the creator actually restoring the item, it still should be noted that they are destroying the items to begin with. But how would one even know if an item restoration video was faked in the first place? Well, this is Backyard Ballistics. Their restoration channel has been creating genuine restoration videos for the past 11 months, with some of the videos having between 3.1 and 6 million views. On the 6th of September 2022, Backyard Ballistics would publish a video titled Most Restoration Videos Are Fake, where he would go in depth on how to spot fakes, specifically in the knife and gun niche. The object is altered through a process different than natural decay phenomena. In its most common form, the item is covered in a mixture of dyes, pigments, binders and fillers, usually tailored to look like some form of corrosion product. It's basically painted over. For example, there is no reason for a plastic or rubber piece to become rust exactly, colored, exactly. nor for a steel object to develop green or bluish corrosion products. If you see a steel object with green stuff on it, then what you're looking at is most certainly fake. Steel's products of corrosion in a natural environment can be of any shade of orange, red, brown and black, but not green, blue or bright yellow. Another thing that could give away one of these fakes is the presence of uncovered areas that have been missed during the application of fake rust. For example, a sling's weaver could leave a shadow during spraying and there's no natural process that would leave such an appearance, so we can conclude with high confidence that we're looking at some form of fake rust. Mild fakes are harder to tell apart, but they're also less of a scam. What happens is that the content creator takes an item in good or fair condition and subjects it to the same decay processes that can occur naturally, often in an environment that causes them to happen over a much shorter period of time. This still means that guns or items in good conditions are deliberately damaged for the purpose of making a restoration video, but at least the damage is realistic and the recovery process genuine. In other words, you can still learn something useful from the video. The accelerated aging process is done properly. It's practically impossible to distinguish it from a natural one. It's a bit like artificial diamonds. They are made in a lab setting over the course of a few days instead of millions of years in the Earth's mantle. But if you do them right, the end result is practically indistinguishable. 
If the neglect that caused the decay happened over a relatively short period of time, the difference between genuine and fake is even more blurred. So with that in mind, many of the viral restoration videos begin to look very suspicious. A great example of a bogus restoration channel is Restoration and Metal. They're a YouTube channel who has gained over 117 million views across their content. And in their video titled Antique Guitar Old Restoration, this is about as obvious as they get, as they go on to make almost every mistake a fake restoration video could possibly make. For starters, they randomly find this broken guitar in their garden covered in mud. They clean it up, and then they use instant noodles in order to fix the hole. But the real cherry on top? Well, that was the fact that they put the tuning strings on backwards. One might argue that restoration videos aren't particularly bad, mainly due to the fact that they are essentially harmless and entertaining for the viewer. But by looking a little bit deeper into the niche, that statement simply doesn't hold true. Because recently, several channels have been thriving from animal restoration videos. Wow. But this only brings up more questions, such as how how can animals be restored and how could this even be staged? Wow. Well, let me introduce you to barnacles. Barnacles are small marine creatures that stick onto rocks, boats, and sometimes even turtles. And with the rise of quote oddly satisfying videos, barnacle removal videos began gaining millions of views on YouTube. And what people are willing to do when it comes to making money is truly horrifying. Barnacles only grow on sea turtles, and due to the rarity of sea turtles, these scumbag creators have begun staging the content using freshwater turtles. They do this by literally gluing barnacles, seashells, and dirt onto their shells and then proceed to scrape it off their shells with sharp objects. Due to the turtles having nerve endings in their shell, the process of scraping off glued objects feels extremely painful for the poor turtle and not only damages their outer shell but also causes internal trauma. Investigations done by YouTube and New England Reptile revealed that there was one main person behind most of these videos and what's even worse is that they kept using the same freshwater turtles over and over again. So after downloading and scrubbing through nearly 200 barnacle removal videos, I've come to the conclusion that 99% of these videos are made by the same person. There's just one creep doing this. I've spotted about six different species of turtles used in these videos. After a while, I started to notice something truly, truly disturbing, and I wasn't at all surprised. They're using the same turtles over and over again. And I know this because I spend entirely too much time hyper-focusing on things most people wouldn't. Just imagine returning home after every trip to the beach just to have the stuff glued back on your shell so it can be scraped off with anything from a sharp blade to a fork that's in it oh, for that is this is so evil it's so evil this pure evil the next day and with comments on these videos such as, it's so nice to see kind people like you helping out these little turtles, it wow. seems like most people don't understand the disgusting and evil nature behind the content they are consuming. But with the rise of the content's virality, it would only be a matter of time before turtle experts would catch on. And on the 10th of November 2022, a channel by the name of Dan the Turtle Man would create a video exposing a channel named Ocean Sea, which at the time was gaining millions of views from harming the defenseless turtles. This is a freshwater species from Papua New Guinea in New Zealand that they grew glued and it has a soft shell, not a soft shell turtle, but its shell is soft and leathery and they glued barnacles to the shell to make this fake video. That is so twisted. Not only that, but they're putting them in the ocean. They're literally letting them swim around in salt water. That's not good for them. This is a freshwater species. They're burning its freaking eyeballs. Not to mention the skin problems that they can have from this. Look, it's leaving lesions. It, look, it's you're literally ripping the freaking skin off the shell of the turtle here because they glued the barnacles to this fly river turtle. Are you actually kidding me? And 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 on the hard shelled animals, at least you know it, it's really uncomfortable, but it, usually they don't rip anything off. On this fly river turtle, they are quite literally. Oh, he's pulling and then you see how the upset the turtle gets dan the turtle man's video led to hundreds of viewers reporting the big channels who are posting their content which luckily resulted in the bigger channels being terminated by youtube but this is the real world and not all stories have happy endings and in this case that is especially evident as the terminated channels began re-uploading their videos under new names an example of one of these channels being vast ocean who in the last two weeks has posted 91 videos amassing over 1.6 million views gaining their channel over 61,000 subscribers Subscribers. And by simply searching Total Barnacle Removal on YouTube, you can see hundreds of these videos being uploaded every single day. Very, 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 very annoying. When I mean annoying, I mean very, very annoying. Do you want me to say anything? It is very, very, very annoying that seeing people do things like this just for view. 
so very annoying because those turtles, like those turtles, are actually animals. They have life in them and enslaving them because that's enslave that's that's slavery there. Yeah. You capture a, an animal and then you use him to get views, and then people will be like, Oh, you are the savior. Oh, uh, you save animals. It's good to uh, what you're doing, this, that, this. They don't give a fuck. They are just making their views. Like, that's not good. Things like this should actually stop. That's one thing about being famous. You should go the right way. If you go the wrong way, you will only be famous for some time and then everything dies down. That's it. Which is not good. So we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching the video. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And also comment down below what video you want me to react to next. Thank you.